Let's get started with converting this Figma design to bubble. So first I'll make sure I'm in dev mode. I'll go to plugins. Uh, I already have design installed. Uh, I'll click on it, it authenticate my token. And then I will select a component I'd like to convert. So I select the whole uh, frame. You can see that right here, it's showing that it's in column or row format. So it's not set to fixed. Um, design works best with auto layout settings such as rows or columns. And let's click convert. And if I wanted to, I could traverse down and convert uh, specific components, but I'd rather just convert the whole thing. There we go, it's done. So I'll open up my editor and I'll go to uh, the Chrome extension. There it is, desktop. And uh, coming back to you, you can see the name was desktop. So I'll click copy and paste it into my editor. Okay. And then let's see if there's any preset settings. We'll remove fixed width, remove fixed height, make it full stretch, and let's see how it turned out. Give it a debug mode. And there we go. So, uh, page is set out. Looks very similar to the design kit from Figma. Uh, but let's take another look. So, one of the things we notice here is that the inputs are set to group and text. And that's not what we want. We actually want these inputs, right? So let's come back to uh, Design Kit. This is a uh, community version, so I can't edit this one. However, let's open up a Design Kit that uh, belongs to me. Uh, it's my copy. And let's find one that has an input. Up oh, here's one. Um, so what we have to do is we select the input. And let's find it in here. Here we go. Here's the group for that inputs. And then it has a text placeholder. Um, and what we got to do is go back to Design Mode. And let's look rename, and we just have to put the correct emoji there. And the list of emojis is in our documentation settings, and you'll see them uh, when you get on board as well. So we'll set that to be an input. And same thing happens with buttons. So let's set this button. Uh, let's give it the button emoji. Let's click rename. And the button emoji is, here we go. All right, so now this uh, card should convert and make this uh, input a an actual input in bubble and then the book now button to be an actual button so we'll come back to dev mode we'll click plugins open back up design and we'll click convert to bubble that one was a little faster we'll switch back over here and let's delete group main actually let's just delete all children and then group main and let's open back up the chrome extension there's the card that we copied and let's click paste there we go. So now we can see that this is an actual input element and this is a button. Let's see how it turned out. There we go. So I could type into it and I could click the button if I wanted to. Thanks. Uh, let me know what you think.